Hi, I'm Frances Proctor, otherwise known as Angel Eyes Online. Welcome to today's Zara Plus Equi tutorial. Today you're going to learn how to create new products in Equid and how to set up a single product wi widget in Equid and how to integrate that single product widget into your existing Zara site. So are you ready? Let's get started. Okay, here I am. I'm logged into my Equid control panel and we're here at the dashboard and we're going to get ready and we'll add a new product. So we'll start by going to the catalog tab and you can see up here you got your choice between products and categories and product types. And we want to be in products, which is where we've landed. And we're going to set up our new product. So we we'll click the new product button. And this opens up the new product page where we can get started here. Now this is a service that we're going to be adding. It's it's not an actual physical product that needs to be shipped so we can disable this. We can just ignore this. We don't have to worry about this. And let's give our product a name. So I'm offering private tutoring so we'll just call this product private tutoring. Now we need to add this product in, into some categories. We need to tell Equid where to put it and where to display it. So we'll click the add categories and I'm going to be putting this in my Sunwings shop and it's a service so we'll put it in the services category. If it was a product that would be useful across different categories you could select as many of these as you want or if I wanted it to display in the good morning sunshine part of the store I could just click here or I could put it in my services here but for now we're just going to leave it in the Sunwing shop and when you're done with your categories just click OK and it shows here the pathway where your new product is going to be located. So now we're going to fill out a description and I've got a description already pre-written here so I'm just going to quickly copy and paste this description and this gives a basic description of what our product is and what we're selling. And I'm going to upload a product image to go along with it so I will simply click choose file and I will whip down here to find it in my there's my image click open and there it's uploaded. <clears throat> so now that the image is uploaded we fill up the description. Let's go up here. Now I'm not going to be doing these tutorial sessions for nothing. I wish I could offer it as a free service but unfortunately I can't afford that so let's give in a price. And now that we've set all of this, I'm going to click Save here. And this will save our product. And it will show up in our in my Sunwings shop under the uh, services category. But what I want to do, I want to put this in its own separate widget on a on the home page, on the landing page. You know, I want people to see this when they land on the landing page. So to do that, we're going to use this HTML code section. And what this does is basically it lets you create a single little widget that you can put anywhere on your site. 
and as you can see I've selected to include the thumbnail and it's automatically included my picture it's got my label and my price and the big add to bag button and it's got options here and I forgot I'm gonna take you back and we're gonna create actually some options for this so let's set a new option and the first new option I'm going to set is down here a text field and we're going to get this option a title and I'm going to entitle this one email address this and I'm going to make this one a required option which means that they have to fill this in to proceed and this one I made to collect an email address so that once I've received confirmation that of the order for the tutoring I have a way to contact the, the client and set up their their lesson now I'm going to add in one more option down here and this time I'm going to add in a text area whoops so again we're going to click new option and this time I'm going to add in a text area let's give this a title of what would you like to earn and we'll make this a required option as well and this will give me a give my clients an area on on the little widget where they can fill in a little bit about what they want to learn not earn <laughs> and then it gives me a chance to prepare some materials for them to make them the most of their their time that they're paying for so let's go back to the HTML code widget and now you can see here on the widget where we've got our stuff that we had before and now you can see there's the email address and the larger area where they can put the fill in a bit more and they can actually make this bigger longer if they have to fill it in <clears throat> and that is our little widget that we're going to put on the page so let's copy this code here that Equid provides us with. We'll just copy that code, Control C. Now let's go to our Zara page, and here you've got my. Uh, here is my Sunwings page, and you can see I've got a placeholder here where the widget is going to display I think actually before we get started I'm just going to make this just a little bit longer to give a little bit more space for that widget to be resizable so let me grab my selector tool and I'll just pull this column down delete butterfly we'll pull that down and I'm gonna make my placeholder a little bit longer <clears throat> all right that ought to give a bit more room for the widget to be expandable and now let's insert the code with our rectangle selected I'm going to go up here and I've got a placeholder 
button here on the info bar. Um, you might not have that. I, I just, it's been, I customized my info bar and I've forgotten actually what comes default. But if you don't have it, you can find uh, that icon on the website properties flyout. And there it is there. And we'll just click that. And this brings up the web properties panel. And you can see we were at the placeholder tab. And we want to replace this rectangle with HTML code. And we want this code in the body of the page. So we'll just click this button here and we'll click the HTML code body button. And I'll hit Control V and this pastes our code into here. Click OK. We'll click regenerate the image automatically and we will click OK again. This takes a few seconds, but there we go. And you can see how our widget will display on the page. And I'll just zoom in and you can see we've got this blank area here where they can bring that box down and put a bit more type into it. And the box will allow them to scroll the box itself too. So they shouldn't have any problems putting in enough text to explain what they need to learn. All right, so now we're ready to upload this. So we'll click the share button here, publish website. And as you can see, I've already published this once, but if you're publishing for the first time, you'll get a little box that will ask you if you want to publish to Magic Online or, or your own site. And you can definitely go through all of that. So I'll just quickly publish this page. And Zara will chug away for a couple of minutes here. It is just preparing everything. And here comes the dialog box for the Google Fonts. We'll click OK on that. And now the uploading panel shows up here. And you can see just how fast this uploaded. And there it's done. It's uploaded. And one of the neat things I like about Zara is it gives you this handy little link here. You can easily click this link and go and check out your web page. Okay, here's our page live on the internet. And you can see our widget is displayed nicely on the page. And you can see that, that we've got enough room here to expand this box down. Um, you don't want to expand it down too far or everything disappears, but they can definitely expand it down. And I'll just type in, because I made this stuff required, so let's go. email address. And I'll just type in some testing text here. Just, just testing. All right, you get the idea. And if the box is sized up to the point where the text doesn't fit, then you get these little scroll handles. So there should be no problem in putting a fair amount of text in there. <clears throat> and once the client's done that, they can simply click the add to, add to bag button. And then this brings up your little shopping bag page here. And you can display how many hours worth of tutoring you want from a one hour lesson, three hour lesson, that'd be a long lesson. <laughs> 
and this displays all the information that the client is going to need. It's going to display their total costs, display the tax on that cost, and when they click this, it takes them to the checkout page where they can pay with their credit card or a PayPal account. And I think that's pretty much all you're going to need to know. And that's how it works. Thanks for watching.